So, you haven't noticed? But you're carrying your coffee and your gun hand? Of course I did. I just haven't said anything because these Lucy lessons are pointless. You really don't think you're treating me differently? You're not a rookie. You want to change up your duty belt, carry your coffee in your right hand, it's up to you. You know, this isn't about us. I'd give Dorsen the same leeway. Mm. Officers, we have to do something, man. This guy over here is destroying my business. Okay. What's the problem? I do everything right. And he just parks a van and throws up a sign. <laughs> really? You called the cops? Yeah. His customers are coming to me because my product's better and cheaper. You can afford to undercut me because you don't pay the taxes or rent. Okay, sir, we're going to need to see your paperwork. My bag out there? Yes, your bag is out here. I'm guessing the keys to your van are in there? Maybe. God, I don't have time for this. Control 7 out of 100, start a tow truck to my location. <laughs> The transplant team is on the way. They should be here within the next couple of hours. And you'll let us know when it's go time? Of course. Thanks. So, I had no idea that uh, foreseeing someone's death was one of your powers. No, it's not like I actually saw him die in my mind. It's more of a, like a feeling, like a sense. Of what? It's total darkness. Hey! Come on, get up, get up! Get up, come on, get up. Hands, give me hands. What did you do? What did I do? I was just sitting here. You seriously don't remember me. I did 10 years because of you. Well, you're gonna have to be more specific. I've thrown a lot of guys under the butt. Rod Carmichael, you have an age today. Damn. Get out here. Come on, move. Looks like I beat your prophecy. No. What do you mean, no? I just survived an attempted murder. Yeah, and yet nothing's changed. Death is still coming for you. I'm sorry, I'm confused. It's not that someone stole the uniform. The orderly actually works here. Yeah, for the past seven years. Got out of prison, turned his life around. And now he's thrown it all away. Oscar tends to have that effect on people. Of all the hospitals in the city, and he ends up in one where someone wants him dead. What are the odds? Pretty solid, actually. Yeah, the city's lousy with people who want to see Oscar dead. Well, I need to examine him, make sure it's still safe to do the surgery. Of course. You really think Oscar's still in danger? Of dying? Yes. But I can't tell how. I mean, he could just as easily come from a heart attack. Or during a transplant surgery. Mm -hmm. Duke. Uh, hey, officers. Ashley's room is one more down. Right, um, uh, just, you know, get lost. Ooh, Ashley must have gotten her taste in men from her mom. Okay, so we are citing you out, which means we will not be taking your fingerprints or your mug shots. As long as you promise to show up in court. Anything to get out of here. Wait a minute. Where are my earrings? I put them in the bag. Sure you did. They were half carat each. I didn't take your earrings. I know they were in there. It must be a nice perk of the job. Pocket whatever catches your eye. Sir, no one stole anything. This is robbery. Wait a minute, you had your gun. This is armed robbery. Okay, I'm sure your earrings will turn up and we'll call you when we have them. I want a receipt. We don't issue receipts. Look, it's all in the report. If you want to file a complaint, you can do so at the front desk on your way out. I didn't take the earrings. I know. This stuff happens sometimes. No, it doesn't. Not to me. God, I've been so focused on us. Did I screw up? You're kidding. You're not kidding? I thought you decided you were done having kids. Yeah, I decided, and, and I took the pill and went on with my life, and somehow Wesley manifested this. Okay, he's a lawyer, not a wizard. No, he wanted Jack to have a sibling. He made this happen. And siblings are fun. Lila loves being a big sister. It's not that. It's just <laughs> Jack just started sleeping through the night. It felt like I almost had my life back under control. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Oh, that's him. Target's on the move. It's not here. Let's check the lockers again. We checked them twice already. We'll keep checking until we find them. Well, okay, 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 look. 
You need to file a memorandum with the chief. It's protocol. I get it. We're not there yet. Well, how long can it wait? I have discretion with things like this. We find the earrings. No paperwork necessary. But if we don't, you need to report me to IA. Maybe janitorial swept them up. Duke, you uh, get turned around again? Yeah, man, this uh, this place is confusing. <laughs> I'm just trying to find the bathroom. End of the hall, you make a right. You're the best. He had a seizure from taking a medicine cabinet's worth of prescription pills. Uh, there was blood pressure medication, antibiotics, Vicodin. I think there was an industrial strength laxative there. He's lucky he didn't die. Is, is he under arrest? Yes, yes. We will process him just as soon as he's cleaned up and released. I thought it was weird he kept wandering off, but I never imagined he was treating the patient rooms like a pill buffet. I mean, of course you didn't. It's an incredibly stupid move. I know what you're thinking. I picked a guy just like my dad. Only dumber. Uh, did, we did notice the similarities. Good news is they're about to come get you for surgery. And this will all be over soon. Right. I'm going to go check on Oscar. Excuse me. You all set for the surgery? My team is prepped and ready to go. The sooner we get this guy out of my hospital, the better. Where were you? Bathroom. Hospital's full of cops. He's cuffed to the bed. What's he going to do? Hey, guess what? A grub monkey delivers to the hospital. This means you're gonna have to delay the surgery, right? Yes, for at least 12 hours. Oh my, that's right. I wasn't supposed to eat. I am so sorry. I was just so hungry. But you know, since we're not having the surgery tonight, do you think I can have dessert? Can't explain 